MetaDigger software from Sound Ideas will help you find and work with digital sound effects and music in broadcast wave, AIFF, and MP3 formats. When you first open MetaDigger, you get a blank canvas that's ready to scan and load in the metadata from all of your audio files. To get started, use the Scan Files button to select the directory you want to work with. Click Finish when the scan is complete. The table will populate with the metadata found in the scanned files. Changing between View All, Last Scanned, and Playlist will let you see either all of the files you have scanned, only the files from the last scan you completed, or files that you have put into a playlist. You can select the data columns that you want to display by going to the View menu and selecting the columns you want to feature. The columns can be reordered by dragging them across to a new location. Click a column header to sort the table by that column. Clicking once puts the column in ascending order. Clicking again puts the column in descending order. With metadata loaded, you can search for terms or keywords. Files that match your search term automatically display with the search term highlighted in red. Click on the X to remove your search term and see all records again. You can use an exclamation mark to exclude words from the search. For instance, to search for wind and not have all of the windows in the database show up, enter wind, exclamation mark window, in the search keywords field. To play audio, click a row in the database to highlight it, then press the space bar or click play. The play button will now change to pause so that you can stop the playback. When the auto feature is on, the sound will play as soon as you click on the record without having to use the space bar. And you can use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to play through all of the displayed files. The display shows you how far you've progressed through the audio and the volume control can be dragged left or right to increase or decrease the volume. As you find files that you want to work with, you can add them to a playlist. Highlight the files that you want to add to the playlist and click on the Labeled button. To activate the playlist, click on the Labeled button. You can move back and forth from the playlist to the complete list of scanned files by clicking on the All button. To remove files from the playlist, highlight the records to remove and hit the Labeled button. With a record highlighted, you can double-click on that record or click the Show Info button to zero in on all available information for that record. You can also click into the Description field to add details that you can use to identify projects or anything else you want. You can also change the rating by clicking into that field or sliding the rating bar along between 0 and 100. Changes made here are only stored in the database and are not written into the files but in the future, you can search on any terms you add to the descriptions. There are 15 separate tables for you to use. To open a table, click on the File menu and select the table you want to open from the list. Tables come numbered, but you can rename the tables by clicking on Edit and Set Table Names. You can delete a single record or several records from a table or playlist by highlighting and selecting Delete Selected from the Edit menu, or by right-clicking and hitting Delete Selected. If you select the Delete All option, it will delete all of the records in the current table, whether you have them selected or not. If you have created a backup of the data, you can restore it. If not, you will have to start over and scan all of your files. To print a report based on one of your tables, select Print Report from the File menu. Printed reports are based on the records showing in the scan database you are looking at. You will be asked to give your report a title and you will be shown the number of records that will be printed. To export data, go to the File menu and select Export Records. Exported records are based on the records showing in the scan database that you are looking at. You can select which fields to include in the export. The default option is to display all fields. The Choose button lets you decide where to save your record and what to name it. The data is exported as a tab delimited file and can be opened in a program like Excel. 
When you find sounds that you'd like to work with, you can copy them to a work folder. Use the Choose Work Folder button to decide where to save the files you want to work with. Highlight the files you want to copy and click on the Copy to Work Folder button, or right-click and choose Copy to Work Folder. There are also several other useful features that can be accessed from the File menu. The Reveal in Finder option on a Mac or Reveal in Explorer on a PC will open up the directory location where your selected file is stored. The Rebuild Database option is a useful maintenance tool. If you have done a lot of adding and deleting to your data, you might want to use this cleanup feature. Keep in mind that it may take a while depending on how many records you have scanned with Metadigger. The Backup Database feature allows you to create a backup of your database for safekeeping. This should always be done on a regular basis. Your database backup can be restored using the Restore Database option. This will overwrite everything in your current database. You can also access several features from the Edit menu. Set Library Evaluation Rules allows you to create rules that try to identify the library name of each scanned file. When there is a match, the name is put into the library field in the table. Not all files can be identified this way. However, the library field can be edited manually by clicking Show Info or by using Search and Replace. To put your newly created library rules into place, use the Reevaluate Libraries feature. The Search and Replace feature can be used if you have already scanned a drive and it is now identified differently. You can change the MetaDigger data to replace the drive ID so you don't have to scan the files again. When the Search and File Path feature is turned on, MetaDigger will search on the complete file path and file name for search matches. By default, this feature is turned off. MetaDigger software is provided by Sound Ideas as a free download. This software is provided on an as-is basis, without warranty of any kind. The user takes full responsibility for its fitness for use in their application. MetaDigger is developed by and available exclusively from Sound Ideas.